Why don't you catch my act yourself? Then decide. Sure, I, I'd love to. Just promise me a front row seat. What's that? What? It sounded like someone was trying to get in. Everybody's gone. After you, Mrs. Castillo. I thought it was smarter in case we hit something. I didn't hit just something. It was a person. It was Eden. Oh, God. Hey, get a grip on yourself. Please. I could have... I could have killed her. I could have committed murder right on the highway. Did you hear what he said? She's going to be all right. What if she saw us? What if she knows who it was? It was just too dark. She couldn't have seen anything. He's coming. Nurse Robert? Well, I guess it's time to deal with her. What's that? Santana told me what happened tonight. Did she? If you'd like to go in. I feel responsible. I don't think she ever cared about me. Castillo. Hurts, doesn't it? Like I said, if you lied, Keith, I'll kill you. She should have died! You can't say things like that not here, especially if you did. Come on, come on, stop. You understand why? Well, he, nobody's going to get him tonight. It's too late. Why don't you stick around? I'll tell you what. If you're a good boy, maybe I'll come back. I thought I was a good boy. Well, pretty good. I, I thought you said I was a ten. <laughs> You laugh? You laugh? <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing. This is full of speculation and outright lies, and he should never have seen it. I don't know. I thought it was pretty accurate. Keep your hands off of this, man. Hey, you know what? You come in here, you harass my guest, and you order me around. I'd have called the cops, have you arrested. Then you can appear in the paper you know, there is a with lie. your wife. There's a lie! <laughs> well, are you going to stand out there in the hall all night, or are you going to come on in? No, I can't. I got a headache. Oh, come on. No, really, I'm not kidding. I'd love to, but I just, I think I ought to go home and catch up on the sleep I've been missing lately. Huh? No. Yeah. I want you here. After all, you owe me a party. I'll get rid of that headache. Huh. Really. I want to be with someone tonight. Why don't you call up Mason and call him and ask him over? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm beginning to realize how stuck you are in Mason lately. Pipe dream. <laughs> Wait. Hey, who's that? <laughs> Angel, would you just wait outside? I, I have to talk to Mr. Timmons alone. All right, I'll, let me get my boots here and... Uh... Just put them on in the hall, okay? okay? All right. Look, buddy, we're just old friends, nothing more. Oh, hey, be my guest. I was just checking for rats. Look, there's a soda machine down the hall. A soda machine? Would you buy me a soda, okay? Anything diet. Yeah. You're a sweetheart. I can't believe you. What? I'm so glad you're here. What do you mean? You, you were planning something perverse between the three of us and a, and a, a diet soda can? Come on, Keith. It was perverse enough what just happened, letting him touch me like that. Oh, please, come on. What are you going to say? You're going to say that, you, that this all happened against your girlish will? I did it for you. What? Katie, you don't think I, I'd, I'd sleep with somebody like that if there wasn't another are, way out? Are you crazy? Your office is real tacky, Keith. Think fast. <laughs> you lose. You know what I could do? I could paint the walls, some new carpets, new upholstery, and really make this a show place. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you speaking to me now? Sure. Oh. Sorry I snapped at you this morning about Mason. It's just... I just felt bad for him, that's all. You've got a soft spot for him, haven't you? So what if I do? There or there. Why are you...
you acting so weird? Rather acted like Mason. Sometimes. The other might be nice for a change. Hey, what are you doing? Right here, right here. That's where I brought Mason down. I'm going to teach you to forget him once and for all. <laughs> what does it take you to learn, Castillo? College course? Oh, how'd you guess? You know, Keith, wouldn't hurt you to take a couple of classes. Maybe uh, chess for beginners. Law. Oh, I know law. And I know about the sightseeing bus Kelly and the Brit were spotted in. I know about the cop that came to He's been suspended, by the way, so don't try to get any information out of him. Man, if you weren't the DA, I'd swear... If I, I wasn't the DA, what? I'm dying. I'm fascinated to know the combinations of brilliant words that are going to follow from that. If I wasn't the DA, what? We wouldn't be such good friends. You'd punch me in the mouth. You're in my way. It makes me want to move you. Let's say I'm not the district attorney, okay? You want to take me outside and settle this like a man? Isn't that the way you macho type in the end of all's put it? When this is over, I'll show you exactly how we put it. <laughs> when this is over, you're going to be making some new and intimate friends behind bars. Remember, when you get there, don't drop the soap. Well, I don't believe it. The Queen of Callus shedding tears. Oh, shut up, Keith. I guess I should have known a lot better than to expect any sympathy from you. What is it? Is there a brand in against you? Bad news from Lily? Haley. I'm fresh out of reasons why you might be moved to tears near. Mason's getting married. Is that what you're crying about? Yes. I had this hope that someday he and I... You married the man's father for the second time. I know. Well, I divorced Cece this time. But I can make Mason understand. See, he does understand. And not just one side of me, but all of me. Better than any other man ever has. I thought I could make him realize that he loves me. I was more hung up on that guy, weren't you? Uh-huh. Being your lover is it not exactly thrilling to hear news like that. We're not lovers, Keith. Oh, not really. No. We use each other. We both know it. It works out pretty well. In and out of bed. But we're not lovers. I don't know. It felt like we were doing more than using each other. It felt like it went a little deeper than that. Now you're just trying to make me feel better. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Uh, how long did you think you could keep this a secret, and why would you want to keep it a secret anyway? Because I don't know for sure yet. I mean, it could be a, like a temporary uh, remission, you know. And, and, and I just, I just don't tell Scott, please. That moron happens to be, well, he's supposed to be a doctor. Even if he hasn't figured this out himself, maybe he's going to conduct some tests. You know what I mean? What are you going to do with the tests? How are you going to fool him then? Will you let me worry about that? You just keep your mouth shut. Oh. Okay. As soon as you tell me why. Let's see. Uh, is your relationship with the good Dr. Kilder based upon pity, my darling? Are you afraid that he is going to come to his senses when he finds out you have all of yours? Of is that, are you afraid he's going to dump you? No. You wouldn't do that. Scott loves me. Gee, you sound so convinced. Maybe he'd like you better if you were paralyzed. How about that? I know we can get a wheelchair cheap. Why don't you just shut up? 
He doesn't care about my disability. Scott doesn't care whether I can see or not, whether I have kids or not. You told him that? Yes. I thought that was something just between you and me. I didn't think you blabbed that to everyone. He's a doctor, Keith. You, you, you talk to a doctor about things like that. Especially a doctor you're in love with. Well, what do you know? Gee, you're talking about children. What next? Are you talking about your gallbladder? I didn't think things had gotten this far, darling. I thought it was just a fling. I thought you'd get over it, come to your senses. I guess I've been a fool. Keith, I'm sorry I hurt you. I, I never meant to. No, I... You're hurting yourself. I'd marry him, whether you can have kids or not. But, I mean, he's a young guy. He's going to want to have children, you know? Somebody to play with. I don't think he's really going to want you a whole hell of a lot when he finds out you're a lying, deceitful, tired broad who cheats and lies and sleeps around and on top of all of it is barren. No, I'd bet on that. You are so cruel. So cruel. Well, I think I can be crueler. I think I can hunt this guy down, you know? Tell him about your deceitful past, about all the lies and tricks. He should drop you for good then. It wouldn't work, Keith. I think you've tried it in the past. Scott doesn't care about my past. He, he, he said it doesn't matter. Well, I don't, you know, I think he's talking abstractly there. I think once I give him the lurid details, you know, and perhaps a couple of photographs. Why? Why would you do something like that? So unnecessary and so unvicious. No. no, it's not unnecessary, not to me. I'll be getting some of my own back. Did you get a speeding ticket? Baby, don't make fun of me. Drop it, Keith. We've already discussed this. I, we, all the only thing we've discussed is you don't want to discuss it. That's right, I still don't. Well, I don't, you know, what do you have that you cherish so much that you can't have with me? The ability to kick you out at will, for one thing. Well, you, you can do that anyway. I'll just keep coming back. I might as well be a husband as a poodle. That's not you know. the way things are. Like right now, right here. The way things are right now, like right here? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can go on a bus and meet a neurosurgeon. You know, that'd cost you six months of trying on new clothes. Me, a hundred bucks and dirty magazines. What do you want? What do you want me to say? I'll give it to you. Honey, I'll give you anything. Any cliche in the book. I'll get, I, you are the moon. You are both moons. You are the stars. You are the sun. You make me feel brand new. You make me feel ten feet tall. Oh, gosh. That's so sweet. It's so Isn't lovely, it? but it's really unnecessary. Besides, I'd settle for six feet tall, but that would be a stretch. What's with the short jokes? <laughs> what does Judy Jitsu have to say? There's been a new scientific discovery. A hormone that makes short men grow. Suddenly, you're Don Rickles. What's wrong? Did you lose your sense of humor? Did you ever notice when? Good husbands are supposed to be a tower of strength, not a tower of babble, 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 babble. Oh, you can say that again. A tower of babble, 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 babble. Good husbands are supposed to be loyal and true as a day is long, longer than that. I, I, that's the kind of husband I'd be. The only thing that I can imagine worse than what I went through today is being married to you, Keith. Why, you don't believe me? You, you, you think I'd be substandard? I think you'd be like a Ferris wheel in hell. Honey, it is because I respect marriage that I've avoided it so long in my adult life. But, given one word from the right woman... Are you coming on to me? You know, show me a little bit of encouragement you wouldn't have to ask. Oh, Keith, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me realize things can always get worse. I was just giving you an object lesson. In what? Well... You know, from this day forward, there's going to be a lot of fortune hunters after you, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, until they part you from your alimony. Believe it or not, some of them are going to be smoother than me. There is going to be much more than alimony and child support. There's going to be enough to keep even the most depraved fortune hunter in mink slippers for the rest of his life. Woo! I didn't think you had it in you. I didn't. It was put there. Sometimes it just happens that way, doesn't it? For lunch, and he's going to be home soon. He comes home for lunch? Whatever happened to school cafeterias? Well, he's got an hour and a half off for school, and it's not very far away, so Cece sends the car for him every day. A limo and a chauffeur to bring a kid 
home to eat lunch? I'm gonna have my work cut out with this kid daddy-wise. Never. You're gonna have your heart cut out if you mess up. I've worked very long and hard to get these special privileges for Brandon. You're gonna spoil this kid. You're taking away his incentive to go to school in the first place. He's got plenty of incentive. I give him five dollars every day. Five, five dollars a day he brings home? You know how old I was before I brought him five dollars a day? I'm surprised you make that much now. We're, ta hmm. We're talking about building the boy's character. Look, it's not wasted. Whatever he doesn't spend, he saves. And that's your idea of thrift. No, excuse me. You don't have any idea of thrift. Look, you already have it as a убийстве. Так что оставьте меня в покое. Не трогал я эту шлюху. А мне плевать. Кого ты грохнул? Он шваль вроде тебя, так что ты совершил прям-таки благое дело. А вот миссис Костилью не заслуживает такого обращения.